pretty well set in, in each of those spots? I think so. You know, I have to look at all of it, you know, to see if I'm missing anybody. But I think we're set pretty much from a, who the starters are. I think it's really important this week, and, and we're hoping that yesterday and today and, and uh, Tuesday bring some, some clarity to who the other guys are that we can play in the game so who we feel the best about as far as the next guys to, to get in there and play. That's real important this week. We're going to need more than just our starters. You know, we, we want to play some guys this week and next week and, and throughout the course of the season. And, and that's one of our points of emphasis as a staff this week is to, to try to you know, push the twos along to see who can help us right now. Center pretty well. He's doing great. He's doing really good. I tell you, he's really uh, improved a lot. You know, this time last year he was really overweight, and uh, he came back in a lot better shape this year. Really worked hard this summer, and and he has a lot of things that you're looking for at the center position. He has a, some suddenness uh, in a, in, a, in a small space. He's very very, oh, I call him hog thick. You know, where his hands and his wrists they really hold up well on the line of scrimmage. There's very little space between uh, the center and the nose guard. You know, so it takes a, a guy that can really get down there and play with leverage, and he has a real knack for that. And, he, and he's a tough guy, so he's, he's done very, very well. He'll be at center, and Peter Dry will be at left guard. Kelly will be at left tackle. Mondek at right guard, and Justin Kitchens at right tackle. Will you have clues Saturday, you think? Doubt it. Do you have any sort of idea when you might have him? Not really. Right. Just in the return game a couple of weeks ago, you talked about, uh, I believe it was O.J. and Akeem returning kickoff, kickoffs and Ricardo returning punts. Is has anything changed in that regard? Well, we, we've, uh, you know, settled on a handful of guys as far as kick returners, and, and Tavian Edison is a good kick returner, and O.J. Ross is a good kick returner, and, and Akeem Shavers is a good kick returner. And we thought Barbarette had really gotten the knack for it last year and, and was uh, kind of coming on to be a difference maker for us. And in that phase of, of the game, you know, he's been out with a hamstring. Uh, but, uh, you know, the last couple of practices he's done better, so we think he's going to be available as well. And then uh, Raheem Mostert also. And then, you know, pump return guys, you know, Ricardo Allen and, and Wayne Hale and, and uh, even taking a look at Justin Siller back there some and certainly in Tavian Edison and T.J. Barbarette. You know, those are our return guys. And we'll make a decision on which ones are going to be the ones that start as we get more special teams work this week. A lot of that's going to be – who we feel the best about fielding the ball and, and, and uh, weather conditions and all that kind of stuff to play into that sum. You know, Wayne Hill is very sure-handed. You know, this real windy day, you might see Wayne Hill back there for sure. You know, would you so. like that part of the game to create better field positions? I sure would. You know, and last year, I, I really felt like last year that was the one part of our game that really didn't have an opportunity to improve as much in regards to our special teams performance was our was our return people. We got so limited on skill guys because of the injuries. Sometimes we were afraid to put the last best fast guy we had available, you know, back there you know, returning kicks or punts. And we have more uh, guys to work with this year, and we have to uh, to produce a lot more uh, yardage, you know, on our return game. And so that's a huge huge fo uh, focus point for us as a football team. Where are you right now in terms of uh, true freshmen? Well, uh, As of right now, anyway. I'll tell you, the guy that's going to be hard to keep him off the field, I met with the staff this morning about it, is Akeem Hunt. Yeah, I think he's one of, the, one of the better football players that I've seen out there uh, throughout the course of camp. He, every day he, he, he'll outrun our, our whole defense, the length of the field. He's very fast. He's, he's really tough. He's wide open anytime he's on the scout team or whether he's getting varsity reps. And he's a guy that we'd like to start getting ready to play and, and maybe start working in there uh, some – point in time early in the season, uh, possibly. Uh, the same with Brandon Cottom, the big uh, fullback from Pennsylvania. He's a heck of an athlete, and he's really shined on special teams and also in, in the scrimmage reps. Uh, Kalana Judd uh, will play some for us, even though he's not a freshman. He's a junior college transfer, and the same thing uh, with Armstead Williams. And then uh, also a possibility of uh, uh, Taylor Richards and uh, Frankie Williams as well. But those are the guys that had the best chance that are new to the program of getting on the field. And Sterling Carter, he'll play as well. He What's, was here in the uh, spring. What has Judd done well for you? Like, he's going to run around and put his face on people and knock them backwards, which is a, a real important part of playing inside linebacker. He brings some real physicality to the game, uh, to, our, to our team in some ways, or to our defense in some ways. Uh, he still has a lot to learn as far as – uh, getting getting his job done with inside of our system, but he's a physical guy and a good uh, knockback tackler, and and certainly see him uh, help, you know, help us some this year. You playing inside so, linebacker, outside linebacker? Well, we've worked him some at both, but he's a physical guy, and and this is a physical league. You know, you start playing the teams that come downhill at you, there'll be a place for Kalana Judd for sure.
you anticipate taking your starting quarterback decision up to game time on Saturday? No, no. We were going to start Caleb Turbush. You know, I wanted to uh, make sure we had a chance to come in and look at the film uh, from from uh, the scrimmage work yesterday with Coach Nord, and, and uh, you know, felt really good about Caleb going in the scrimmage. But we wanted to kind of see what was on the videotape, make sure that he was. Uh, where we thought he was, and we'll go with Caleb Turbush and certainly intend on playing Sean Robinson some as well. Now, I mean, you can't obviously give away the whole the whole plan, but is this, right. would you like to get Robinson in other than any kind of mop-up duty? Absolutely. Well, if you wait, if you count on mop-up duty, sometimes it doesn't happen that way. You right. know, this is a, a team that's been to bowl games the last couple of years that's played very well against some BCS opponents and has a lot of team speed and, and you may not be mop-up opportunities in the game. So we have to get a number two uh, quarterback ready and we plan on playing him uh, throughout the course of the game at some earmarked point in time. We, we've dealt with this before, done this before, uh, Coach Norton and I have together and, and uh, we're very comfortable with it. Based on what you've watched them on tape last year, do you feel like you have a pretty good idea what Middle Tennessee is going to do? Or does the fact they have two new coordinators maybe uh, hurt you a little wrinkle? Well, the coordinators are from within, you know, for the most part. And so I don't anticipate, you know, wholesale changes. You never know when you're opening opponent, you know, what you're going to get until after the game gets uh, gets started. But they're really, you know, big from a defensive standpoint, you know, as far as applying pressure. You know, a lot of blitzes, a lot of zone blitzes, man blitzes. Uh, they're fast. They're aggressive. Uh, offensively, they have a, a good quarterback coming back, a guy that did very well last year, uh, particularly towards the end of the season, played very, very well. And has done a good job of taking care of the football. He's a good passer, and they've got you know, an outstanding receiver and running back. Back, you know, so they've got good players. They're very quick and very athletic. I don't see them changing a whole lot uh, wholesale uh, sc- scheme-wise, but I'm sure there'll be some wrinkles you know, for our game and for their new season as well. Same with us. We're not doing everything exactly like we did last year. We'll, we'll have some new wrinkles and some, and, uh, some surprises.